Okay, one other thing I got to be able to uh, work with my DI2 system is this uh, PC linkage device, which is SMPCE1. And what this comes with is the um, PC1 device, which makes the connection, the communication connection between your uh, computer and the DI2 system. It comes with a USB cable, which is a micro USB, a mini USB cable, which goes in there. This connects to your PC. And then it comes with two of these wires that connect on this side, and those just pop in here like that. And then this connects to an open E-tube connection um, on your bike. I'm just using, uh, I'm only using one uh, switch on my display unit, so this goes into my left switch um, port that would normally be used um, for the left switch. So I'm not sure why they include two cables, but it comes with two cables. So I'll just show, show you really quickly how to make those connections and what it looks like on the PC. Okay, so here's my DI2 system. Uh, I got my battery mounted into my seat post. This is uh, the junction. This is SMJC41 junction that connects um, the battery, the rear derailleur, and the wire that goes up to my display unit. And then, of course, the switch is connected to the display unit right now. Um, as you can see, it functions right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this available port that I have open on my switch to be able to connect the system to the PCE1 um, which communicates with the computer. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take the cable that and then with this cable comes and it connects into that port into the PCE1. I'm going to connect that into that port right there. So I'm going to connect that in there like that. Use my special tool to pop that in there. So that's connected there. Now what I need to do is connect this the PC1, let's wipe this out a little bit here, to my laptop over here. Let me just bring my laptop into view a little bit. And I am going to plug this into an available port in my computer. So this goes and plugs into here. And that plugs into the computer there. And you can hear the computer going going on. Now I already went to uh, the website, uh, the Shimano website, and, and downloaded the E2 project and loaded that on my computer. And we're going to say complete. And then we're going to go to connection check. And what it wants to do is it wants me to select the different components that I have. So I don't have a front derailleur, so I'm going to turn that off. I don't have this external battery. I don't have the rear suspension. I don't have a front suspension. I do have a switch, but I only have one switch. So we have one switch. Okay. Now I look in the list over here, and it's, for some reason it still has suspension switch clicked here, so I'll turn that off. Let's go down the list here. Okay, that should be good. So now I just hit next. Now it recognizes the different components that are in your system. And this can take a couple of seconds. Okay. And it says, okay, so I hit next. I'll go complete. Okay, good. So now I can I can go and I can customize different functions. Um, I can ch change the switch function setting. I can change what the different um, X switch does and what the right switch does, whether it's up or down. I can change the, you know, I can reverse them or do whatever I want. And then if you have suspension, you can change suspension switching in here. The other thing that you can do is, I don't have a rear derail or a front derailleur, so I can't go into synchronized shift map setting. But if you do, you can go in there and, and change this, what synchronized shift is all about. 
multi-shift but they basically this gives you the ability here to go from normal and it gives you a little description of what they are here or what the, the fast shifting and what the basically you need to be have fast uh, RPMs on your crank to be able to use the very fast or fast shift mode so I can basically when you hold the switch down is how fast it goes from the first gear to the 11th gear um, I have mine set for normal right now I'm gonna wait till I till I change it you can change the number, number of uh, uh, gears that it will switch at once so I, if you like, I want to send it to two gears or three gears at once or just no limit right now is the way it's set so we can go change that and um, we can go into rear derailleur adjustment so this is when I um, initially get it set up on the bike uh, instead of doing it from the display unit I can do it from the computer and get my uh, cog set up perfectly aligned with um, my rear derailleur so I have uh, really accurate shifting but it's just a little bit easier way to do it on the computer than doing it with the uh, through the display unit so anyway so that's it that's basically quickly how to use the uh, SMPCE1 um, device to connect your um, laptop computer or any computer you've got to the uh, DI2 system.